Hello and welcome to 5 Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of personal financial literacy paying for college. This is standard 6.14G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 38 of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Riley is receiving financial assistance to pay for his college education. And after he graduates, he will have to pay back the amount of money he received plus interest that accrues after graduation. So this is going to be our big clue right now. He's got to pay the money back he received. Plus he's going to have to pay any interest that accrues after. So we've got a few key points here. So what kind did he get? He's got to pay the money back. We've got a student loan. We've got a scholarship. We've got a work study. We've got a savings plan. Let's just take a look at each of these and see whether any of these could be our solution here. So a student loan, that typically is going to come from uh, the government. Very few people take out loans from banks or credit cards. The interest rates are too high. So you have to fill out a FAFSA. Federal Aid for Family and Student Assistance. And you get a loan and they will just mm -hmm. loan you as much money as you want. Obviously we have to be a little bit careful because they will loan you almost too much money and you walk out of school with $100,000 of debt. But if you take the student loan here from the government, you will have to pay it back. So we will have to pay it back. And you do have to pay interest, but that interest only starts after you finish school. So if you take four or five years for school, it's not going to start interest on day one. You're going to have to start paying back interest after it starts. Typically, there are a few smaller types of loans, unsubsidized loans, that have interest from day one, but those aren't the best loans out there. So, it seems like this might be our answer here. F. Let's see what G, H, and J stands for, because this description right here is describing a student loan. A scholarship. Mm -hmm. Now, scholarships can come uh, from many different sources. So, it could be from the college itself. A lot of times, it's going to come from organizations, groups, companies. And a scholarship is something to where you don't pay it back. So you don't pay it back. They are literally just giving you money. Now it's not cash, it's money for school, so it goes to the school. But you don't have to pay it back. So these are really, really good. Another form of financial aid that's very similar, acts very similar, are grants. And if you fill out your FAFSA, you can get a Pell Grant. Pell Grant is a type of grant that you, you can get from the government. It's not going to pay for your entire college, but it might pay for a semester or two. could pay for a few years if you go to a community college first, and you don't have to pay it back. So those are good. But unfortunately, that is not our answer to this problem because we're looking for something that you have to pay back. Work steady is pretty much what it sounds like. You work and use the money for college. So a lot of times when you're in college, it's kind of hard to find a job because your schedule is, you're in class when most businesses are open, so you might do something called a work study where they help you find a job. But you work and you use a good chunk of that money to actually pay for your college yourself. You're not getting a loan. You're not getting a scholarship, you're paying it for yourself. But if we're doing that, we're not paying anything back. So it's not going to be that one. And then savings plan is well, just kind of like a savings account. Uh, you save your money, and it could be from, you know, from working, could be from birthdays, could be from something, then pay. But we're not borrowing any money, so we don't have to pay anything back. You're just paying with money that you've already saved. So our answer is not J either. So our answer is F, that is a student loan.